hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for always supporting me i really appreciate much but if you're new here you are welcome please do not leave this channel without subscribing subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so in today's video guys today's topic is going to be hot 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 <laughs> And it is the reasons why white men marry black women. <laughs> is it because they are black, the color? Is it because they are slim, <laughs> the size? Or is it because a lady is very tall and she has got a very perfect body? If that perfect body even exists, I don't know guys. <laughs> if exists a perfect body, is it that? Or what makes a white man to marry a black woman so you know I always get real with you guys <laughs> so I'm going to be starting with me telling you a bit of a story before I even thought of marrying a white man I used to think all white men marry slim women only <laughs> so I remember when we were connected with my husband before he came to Tanzania, <laughs> I told him that, uh, you know, I'm fat. I remember one day we were chatting and I told him that, ah, do you know I'm fat? <laughs> and then he laughed a lot. <laughs> he even sometimes reminds me of this and tells me, <laughs> do you remember when you told me you were fat? And I wasn't even the size I am now. I was even more slimmer <laughs> than now. But I told him that, I am fat because I thought white men marry only slim women. <laughs> Another reason to why I decided to make this video recently, you know, I always help women, ladies as a friend to advise them on relationship. So there is this DM I got recently uh, from a girl who is dating a guy, but they have never met in person. They're planning to meet. But this girl told me I have a very big problem that is disturbing me so much. I have scars which were caused by allergic reaction. So I have some scars in my hands and in my legs and this makes me so sad, very embarrassed and I was thinking if I should tell my boyfriend that I have these scars because um, I'm really worried he might not like me or he might leave me just because of the scars. You know, these white men, uh, I think, like perfect women, women with perfect body, beautiful like that. So that is what this lady is thinking. And that's why I'm making this video now for someone who thinks white men marries only slim women or a black woman who has got a very perfect body, maybe slim, tall, or um, a black woman who is like a supermodel I am going to answer you now and let us start without wasting much of your time so before I start giving you the reasons to why white men marry black women I'm not going to be comparing and making black women better than white women not at all that is not what I'm going to be doing and if you remember the video I did when I said a white man is just like any other man. So if you're looking for a man for marriage and you want to know the reasons to why men marry, what can make a man marry a woman? Is it because she's so beautiful? So think of that when you are listening or when you are watching to this video. So number one reason that can make a white man marry a black woman, actually guys, it's not that she is beautiful. Number one reason is responsibility. As a woman, you need to be responsible for your life. No any man, <laughs> forget about the white man, will marry a lazy lady, a lady who is not responsible. A man calls you, maybe you've started chatting, and you're always in bed. He asks you, what are you doing? I'm in bed, I'm sleeping. What are you doing? I'm watching TV. What are you doing? I'm just at home. Uh, I feel lazy. Uh, you're not doing anything. This won't make a man marry you guys. 
he will not because men wants a woman who is responsible who is hard working and this gives you respect as a woman financial freedom not only that guys if you are planning to marry a white man then you should be working you should be having something that you are doing because when you apply for the visa they will ask you what do you do for a living you will tell me ah bella this man is going to come and marry me where i live and then we go together in europe some embassies guys they will not give you visa even if you are married it is going to be a struggle you might get it yes but it is going to be very very difficult because when they see you are not working you married this guy they might think maybe it wasn't for love you just wanted to escape from your country so it is better to be having something that you are doing so that they know this person is responsible here in her country then they will give you visa and you will simplify the visa process but if you're not working it is going to be a very big struggle another reason that it is very important that you should be responsible that you should be working is if you come you get married and you come here in europe his family is gonna be asking you what were you doing in your country then you'll be like ah oh, no nothing then they'll be like hmm <laughs> They will remain with some question marks to is this girl really loves our son is this girl really loves our friend <laughs> or she just wanted to escape from where she was living because she was irresponsible not doing anything <laughs> she just wanted to come here and that's all it's not about love so that is why it is very important before you start thinking of marrying a white guy before you think of marrying anyone else <laughs> any man <laughs> you should be responsible you should be doing something when you are responsible when you are busy doing something when you are a hard working woman you will be respected and this white guy is going to marry you is going to fall in love with you because he knows you are a responsible lady reason number two to why a white man can marry a black woman is intelligence and when i talk of intelligence i mean an intelligent lady the way you think about life the way you talk the way you carry yourself the way you are matured i mean the mature mind not the mature of the age <laughs> not that maturity the maturity of how you think about life about everything how you handle problems <laughs> are you the girl who are you the girl who runs away from problems when problems comes your way then you're like no it is the end of the world god take my life i can't live anymore or you are someone when problems comes you cry wipe your tears and say now this is life life has to continue men want such kind of a woman white men are very interested in such kind of a woman because you know men are very weak when it comes to problems they are really weak more than women so if a man gets a lady who is intelligent a lady who can handle problems who can console a man when problems <laughs> comes his way then that will be a very big advantage for you guys reason number three to what can make a white guy marry a black woman is not being desperate <laughs> not jumping quickly into bed with a guy not at all let the guy search for it let the guy ask for it because if you rush into it and just give him the goodies without even him asking that is going to confuse him so much not in a good way in a very bad way <laughs> yes guys <laughs> another reason to why i'm telling you they marry women who are not desperate there are some women who promises the world to the white guy thinking that it will help them get married so quickly <laughs> i remember there is the story that i had a girl was telling the guy that i can give you a 
<laughs> Anyhow you want it, I can be your <laughs> Imagine guys, a guy is like, what? <laughs> that is being desperate. He's looking for love, someone to love, not or some women can even go to an extent. I remember there is a program I was watching and the girl was telling the guy that uh, she was asked, what are you looking for in a man? And the girl told the guy that I'm looking for a green card. <laughs> she was very honest, but expect this guy to marry you. How do you expect this guy to start a relationship with you if you're looking for a green card in a man? So you should be wise guys, be wise, don't think that being too desperate is going to help you, it won't. So on this, what will make a white guy marry a black woman is if this woman is not desperate, is giving the time to this guy to ask for things, is taking things slowly, don't rush things, don't be in a hurry, don't be desperate guys. Do not, because if you are desperate, if you push things so much, it will make this guy think that, hmm, this girl is too desperate. He will feel it. Don't think that he will not feel that you are desperate. He's going to definitely feel that you are desperate and you will just stop the relationship. Reason number four to what can make a white guy marry a black woman is if this lady is not asking for money all the time like a gold digger yes you're going to tell me ah bella this is so sensitive yes as much as money is very important in a relationship please do not ask for it don't 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 big don't guys <laughs> because guys can i ask you a question do you know how many rich guys that are looking for true love and they cannot find it because all women they have been with are after their money. If you come across this kind of a rich guy and you start asking for money, 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 today you say, I am sick, I want to go to the hospital, and you know guys, in these developing countries of ours, you have to pay to go to the hospital. So you tell this guy, I want to go to the hospital, I am sick, so the guy sends you money. Tomorrow, I have not eaten for two days, the guy sends you money. The next day then, my aunt is sick, I want to travel and go visit her, the guy sends money. At the end of the day, <laughs> the world is not revolving around the two of you. He has his friends, he has family. If he share this information with his family that he has been sending money to you all the time, three times a week, four times a week, they are going to tell him, you are stupid. This girl is a gold digger. Don't marry her. So, no matter how many problems you have, I know it can be tough. Uh, you can have a very little salary. It is very difficult to reach the end of the month. But don't ask money. Another thing, when you continue asking money, this guy is going to ask himself also, what were you doing before meeting me? If you have not eaten for two days, what were you eating before knowing me? <laughs> do not ask for money. If a man truly loves you, I will tell you what to do. Talk to this guy. Tell him your real situation. Some guy can ask even your salary. How much are you getting? Tell him. Tell him everything. Your salary. Or if you have a business, like I said, you have to be doing something, even if it is a very small business. Tell him. Tell him everything. If this guy truly loves you, he will see that, that you are in a very difficult situation. And if he really wants to change your situation, he's going to send you money without even asking. I want to give you another example. When I was dating before, I was dating um, a Tanzanian guy. And this guy was very rich. He was a business guy. <laughs> I remember one day I was at his house and he was counting a lot of money <laughs> preparing to take it to, to deposit it to the bank but I was minding my business guys <laughs> so this guy one day he asked me what can I bring for you 
he went uh, he traveled to another country and then he was asking me uh, what do you want me to bring for you I told this guy that uh, anything you can <laughs> you can bring me anything then he asked me again what do you want me to give you I told him anything <laughs> he laughed so much and he was like I want to talk to you as a man not as your boyfriend but as a man you have surprised me of all the women that I have been with <laughs> those are <dead> men <laughs> you are so unique and special you have never asked me for money why <laughs> but he told me this is very good you are really a very good woman a woman to marry and the next day guys this guy sent me money without even asking so you don't need to ask you don't need to use a lot of lies so that this guy can give you money no just tell him the real situation be real and do not talk of money all the time don't talk of money all the time in your conversation money 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 no because this will confuse him he will think does this woman really loves me or is it all about money so if you're a woman who don't ask money yes he will spoil you and it's good to be spoiled but you don't have to ask if you're this kind of a woman who is not talking of money all the time not asking money all the time this man is going to find you very special and guys like I said, if he's one of those men who are really looking for true love, he's going to marry you. Don't be scared because some women will be like, no, if I don't ask, he will not give me. Trust me, if he truly loves you, he's going to give you, he's going to spoil you, he's going to do anything that you really dream of, but without asking. Thank you. <laughs> Reason number five to what can make a white guy marry a black woman is a lady who is respectful. Respect his boundaries, respect his culture, respect yourself as a woman, and also don't bring drama into your relationship or tell a lot of lies. By the way, guys, about respecting each other's culture, it is so important. Like me, I am very sensitive, guys, <laughs> when it comes to my culture. You can't tell me that my culture is stupid. I'll be very, very upset. So you should respect his culture as much as you want your culture to be respected. I remember the same program that I told you a girl was telling a guy that she is looking for a green card couple. One was a Muslim, which was a guy, and the girl was a Christian, an American, but this guy was living in Jordan, a Muslim country, guys. And the first time this girl went to visit the boyfriend, she went with liquor, and she had fake nails, fake lashes, the way she was dressed guys it was it was in a very disrespectful way for a muslim culture this relationship did not work because because the parents the relative friends of this guy all of them say that this girl is not respecting the muslim culture so if you're dating someone who is not from your religion from your culture why should you do things that you know they are wrong to their culture so if a woman is respectful you respect him as a man you respect his boundaries you respect his culture he is definitely going to love you and he will marry you for this trust me some people may think oh white men uh, don't have respect uh, white men just they live like that they don't have any respect they don't have any morals some people think that way but guys every country has got its own culture traditions and they are respected reason number six to what can make a white guy marry a black woman is a lady who is ready to take sacrifices in general guys and something i need you to know is that when you are in this interracial dating interracial relationship there is a lot of challenges the first challenge is when you start dating the long distance is a very big 
challenge. Another challenge is to decide where you guys are going to live. So you need to come into an agreement of where you guys are going to live. So if you're going to leave your country and go live with this guy in his country, it's a very big sacrifice. So if a lady is ready to take sacrifices, including those, a guy is going to marry you. But if you're someone who is not ready to change, who is not ready to take sacrifices, then he's not going to marry you. Reason number seven to what can make a white guy marry a black woman is a lady who is charming, full of energy, full of life, very positive. This one can make a man marry you because that can be something very special that the guy is seeing in you. That positivity, that energetic feeling. A guy, when he sees you, he sees like light sunshine i'm not exaggerating guys there is a couple that i've seen they're at a point of breaking up and the reason is the guy is complaining before living together everything was fine but when they have started living together they're living together for one year now they have not married yet the routine they do the routine that lady does has brought this couple, has brought this relationship to an end because the guy is saying that this girl has dimmed the light of my life. I'm no longer a positive person. I no longer go out to enjoy with my friends. I no longer see any light in life. So I've decided to stop this relationship because this lady is living with me like we are married for 50 years. There is no positivity. He is even complaining that the lady put on ugly pajamas <laughs> at home the whole day. <laughs> so if you are charming, you're positive, you're full of energy, this guy is going to find that one very special and he will want to spend the rest of his life with you. In conclusion, guys, back to what I said at the beginning of this video. It's not about how tall you are, how black you are, how slim you are, it's not about that. I was so wrong to think that all white men marry slim ladies. If you are slim, tall, beautiful, like a supermodel, you think you have a perfect body and you think it's a ticket to get married to a white guy, you are wrong. <laughs> it's not gonna happen if you don't have respect if you are so desperate, if you ask for money all the time, if you are immature, you are not going to get this guy to marry you. Not at all. And serious men don't look so much into physical aspect. Yes, everyone wants something beautiful. Everyone. It's normal as a human being, but you're beautiful is not going to be his beautiful. I think you understand me, guys. So do not think that you need to be so beautiful, you need to be so beautiful or so perfect to get married to a white guy. No, the reasons that I told you can make a white guy marry a black woman. In fact, guys, I don't think that a perfect body exists. That is why you find women making surgeries, maybe they want big boobs, but after surgery, they're not happy again. They think they're too big. <laughs> or someone has got a, a very big bums and they want to reduce it. They think that it's too big. And the ones with small ones, they think that they should have the bigger one. <laughs> So that is how life is. I don't think there is that perfect body. You should love yourself the way you are and people are going to love you the way you are. It doesn't matter you are beautiful. I repeat, it doesn't matter you are disabled. It doesn't matter you have scars. Not at all. <laughs> if it was like that, then I think there is a lot of women who would have not been married. Tell yourself, that or think of that and you know that you can get married you can get 
any kind of man that you want whether black whether white or any color <laughs> as long as you have all these qualities that i have discussed today and men who always ask <laughs> what is your height what is your size i want to see this i want to see that turn i want to see your back those ones are not serious at all don't pay attention to them at all at all at all <laughs> because if a guy is chatting with you for so long you're in a relationship and you start getting these thoughts maybe i am ugly maybe i'm not beautiful enough for him maybe oh because white men like this white men like this kind of ladies you are worrying yourself for nothing he's chatting with you he is with you because he has seen something very special and that specialness is so powerful above all qualities of beautifulness that you think that white men are looking for so do not worry don't worry yourself <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video and learn something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you so much. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.